Hello, Cheatery McCheater Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenonauts X Division in the very late game where Blue finally cracked and made a cheatery save. But but worse than that, I did some I did some hacking. So um, just to give you guys a bit of a heads up, it's not very difficult if you're playing along and you're really frustrated with something. You could probably edit your save file or. Just enable, for me, all I need to do is enable a uh, debug mode for the item screen. So if you go to your mod folder, Xenonauts slash mod slash X division, there's a game config.xml, which is easily editable in a text, text, uh, like, you know, just a regular text editor. If you search for item debug, you'll find a, a, a true false flag. You just change false to true, and then item debug mode is on. You go back, open your game, load your file. This screen, the, uh, the the storage screen, will probably take like two minutes to load. It's going to look like the game crashed. <laughs> but if you wait long enough, like for me it was about two minutes. Maybe if you've got a faster computer it's faster, I don't know. But it took a long time. You'll have a big long list of everything in the game and an extra, extra column here where you can add items in out of nothing. So add the, th add the stuff you want. Save your game, close it, turn item debug mode off, restart your game, reload your save, blah, 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 and you can have what I have. Now, some of this is cheatery, and some of this, I feel, is just saving a lot of time. So I added a bunch of Alenium. I forget the exact number. We had, like, 100 here, so I added, you know, 400 Alenium. That's quite a lot of missions of Alenium, so that's... I felt a little bit guilty. I added some stuff like, uh... Hybrid Grenades... Because getting these to drop is really annoying, and if I want to make a couple chemical grenades, I don't even think they're all that good. So I just want to be able to build them if I want to. Like, I think the game makes it too hard to get the enemy grenades that you process into your own grenades. I just, I'm not a huge fan of that. I added this one, the Extreme Supply Ship Data Core, which may or may not work. Because we missed this in Phase 3. This is a, data, a ship that we never shot down because it never showed up. I don't know if this will add it to the research queue, but... Maybe. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it there. What else did I add? Oh yeah, I added a bunch of motherships, not to sell for money, but if I want to get some interceptor parts, I will be able to disassemble these and build all the, the various aircraft. Just because, you know, I'd like to at least show some of them off before the end of the game. So yeah, I'd like to make, I'd like to build some Merlins and some Night Owls, because as it is, I don't really have the resources to build half the stuff. And we're just kind of at the end of the game now. So, hey, at least this gives us that without having to do, well, 40 hours, another 40 hours worth of work. So that's, you know, a little bit cheaty, maybe. Um, what else did I add? I added a bunch of alloys. I think the game does not give you enough alloys. And then I've added a bunch of anti-cores. Now, my logic here for these anti-cores is I added about, like, 250 or so. But we had... I kind of think the Kalium should have been anti-cores, because you get them from Andron missions on Andron units that have antimatter weapons, but don't drop dark weapons, because they just blow up when you kill them. So we've been gathering these up all game, and we never... you don't get anything out of them. They're just garbage. So, um... I, I cheated in... well, that's 150... Let's see here... So we had around 200 Kalium tubes in our storage already. I feel like those should have been antimatter cores anyway, and then, you know, we would have had lots more antimatter anyway. Maybe that's overpowered, I don't know. Deal with it. The other thing is, um, the alien, uh, toxic cores similarly do nothing. So those turning into, like, hybrid grenades seemed like a good idea as well. Um, why can I never find anything when I'm looking for it? Resources, so toxic glands you got from capturing extra reapers, which does nothing, and somewhere in here, I know I have a bunch, chemical cores, that's the name, chemical cores were like, we, just, we caught all the chemical, blood, hybrid weapons, and then they did nothing, I really think this should have led to building a few more grenades, because it's the same idea, you just... You're taking their blood tech and making grenades out of it. You don't have your own chemical, like, long-range weapons. So, anyway, that's my logic. Agree or disagree, you know. 
Oh, I added some mechs as well, because we need to get... To build our own mechs, we need to shoot down civilian mechs, and uh, I would really like to show off the cool mech, even if it's not very good. So somewhere in here, there's an enforcer mech. Whatever. You know, anyway, enough rambling. Let's just build some cool stuff. I might even just build that mech right now, just because I know a lot of people are big fans of the mechs, and this mech is not very good. It's, like, pretty old. So let's get rid of the bad spirit wolf. And then queue up a enforcer mech. Yeah, you need some goliath wreckages and a ton of alloys and stuff to build this thing. Like, it's super, super expensive. Because of my cheat, now we'll build one. We're also going to queue up some more antimatter weapons. Because now I've got more antimatter. And I'm going to want, like, one minigun, one cannon... Two pistols, and I think three more rifles. And that's the full set for one team. And that's probably all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna, like, give everybody a whole slew of antimatter weapons. This is just, you know, one A team's worth of antimatter Mark IV. And, you know, that should be good enough. I still would like to show off some of the other weapons. Uh, also, just because we've got a few more, and I, I never feel like I had enough. I'm going to queue up a few more... Well, there's actually quite a few things down here we need more of. I keep running out of smoke grenades. And I never built any flash grenades. And singularity and advanced singularity. So we're going to queue up a few extra grenades for other people. So stun grenades. A bunch of smoke grenades. Now that we've got some spare alloys. A couple flash grenades to maybe try. I don't know if they're any good. And then some backup uh, singularity grenades for other people. You know, I know AV, it's going to take a while for A-Team to build any of this, but hey. While we're here, we'll look at rockets. We'll queue up a few more rockets. Some stun rockets. And some explosives. And honestly, I'm not really using the EMPs anyway, so forget about them. But this will give us a pretty good stock of things we might want to use as we get to the end game, basically. And like... Yeah, I mean, I'm getting a few more than we should have, but whatever. Um, other than that, I don't think I really hacked in too much else. Like, I was trying not to, like, really abuse it. I didn't just hack myself in 50 Devastators or anything, you know? Oh, I didn't build any of these yet. We're gonna need at least one, because it'll be the best Enforcer weapon for the uh, mech. And... I think that's enough for now. What I'll do, I'm gonna let B team be in charge of the air brigade. Because it's gonna take A team forever right now. So I, I got some data cores in here. Uh, air. Well, we've got some basic resources, but I'm gonna send over. Where is it? It's gonna spend. We're gonna spend all of our money. UFO, yeah. How much is this going to cost? Sweet! Let's just waste $2.8 million. We've got too much money. Send over a bunch of Mothership Data Cores to B-Team. And we'll let them uh, disassemble them. And build some new jets. Alright, now, we're going to plan on doing an alien base once it upgrades to a fortress. And I need to find a... There's still some stuff we need to actually do mission-wise before we get to the end of the game. So let's uh, disassemble, oh, let's say five of them, and then we'll talk about building some new jets. But yeah, I would like to do some, uh, I want to spawn an extreme cargo ship, and then we need to do another civilian dreadnought still. And of course, I can't read chat. Is it time to fuse the teams? It might be. It would save some hassle for sure. Oh look! The Extreme Supply Ship did show up! Thank you! So this is the ship that we missed in Phase 3. In Phase 4 it's not such a big deal, but we would have had a chance to get some more Cyclones. If we'd had this show up, because this would have let us help... Would have helped us build Cyclones in Phase 3, but we never saw any. It's just kind of a rare ship, I guess. 
Hey there, runes. You missed the hacking. <laughs> but yeah, I, I figured it out. We're, we're fine. We just saw the supply data, the extreme supply data card. All right, we've got ourselves a super mech. Yeah, I just used the um, item debug mode. It's super slow and a little bit glitchy, but it worked. So this, this guy looks pretty awesome. Let's build him a cool gun. Which won't take too long. And then we'll, uh, we'll send him on the next mission, right? I mean, it's going to take us a while to build all our stuff anyway, so it's fine. Alright, so Enforcer with potentially the best weapon. He can equip all the worst uh, mech weapons, so that's nice to know. And I mean, I was pretty sure, but in case you're wondering, no AP cannons on mechs ever. But, makes sense, I guess. So, uh, we're going to take him out for spin next, next mission. I don't know if he's worth the investment. He's super duper expensive. But he looks pretty cool, and uh, maybe he's worth 200 alloys, I don't know. It's hard to... Dip, you know, I think he should have a lot more weapons than one. It looks like... You know, we should have a, a cannon, a, like a minigun, some laser weapons, he should have some missiles. Yeah, missile weapons. I, where's all these extra weapons, right? All right, and we let B team get some free, uh, whatever you call it, stuff. We could make some Archelons. Maybe we make like one wave of Archelons. Let me. Uh, I don't know if the, again. I just want to test it out more than anything. Um, uh, fix UI. Hey there, Wiggum. Yeah, two hundred alloys worth of bling with all the empty hard points. <laughs> It should be, like, super speedy or something, right? It's barely weighed down at all with only one gun. Yeah, I think... Just for science, basically. Well, I don't think they're very good, but I'm gonna make one wing of, like, three Archelons. It's, like, the worst ship to build right now, but I'm gonna build a few of them. We'll see if they're any good. We've got one already. I'll, I'll group them up somewhere. And it's already destroyed. We'll give it some more weapons, you know. So, uh, we're gonna need to build... Torpedo... Two torpedoes and uh, a missile weapon. Might as well stick with Singularity Torpedoes for now. And a... I mean, the warp missiles seem to be the best on quick review. Maybe I will, between episodes, I, I might just con con compress our teams to just be A team. Everyone will be on A team and, well, C team, well, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> the problem is, like, C team won't do much missions if they're backup, backup, backup units. I guess we have to keep track of, like, how many, uh, spare soldiers we've got laying around. Like, this guy needs to go. Because he was facehugger bait anyway, so we can, uh, dismiss him. But that leaves 13 B teams, and, uh, you know, Stevie didn't get to do much. Facehugger bait can go. These guys were just, like, extras, they never really counted. I don't even need buzzard armor anyway. Take it with you. Take all this garbage with you. But Sivadet was a real recruit. He just never got his chime to shine. We didn't need a face hugger bait. And we don't need a random unnamed soldier. So that gives us a good idea of how many actual spots we have available. Um... There's only 11 more living space in A team. So like we can move B team over mostly. But we're going to run out of space unless I fire some engineers or uh, realistically at this point, no there's no researchers here at all. Um 
I'd have to cut back on engineering, I guess. And I don't want to do that right now, but yeah, I, maybe once I'm done the main engineering projects, we can um, fire some engineers and just have all the all the soldiers in the same place. Maybe. Okay, we got our minigun. Exciting antimatter weapons. But yeah, I don't really want to build like three sets of everything anymore. It's just gonna take too much too much time. You're probably not meant to have that much antimatter anyway. Alright, one cannon, couple pistols. These are all straight upgrades over Antimatter 3, they're just not big upgrades. I don't know if they would have been worth it. Like, if you're running out of Antimatter, they're small upgrades, you know, they're not huge upgrades. Okay, let's see what we want to shoot down, maybe find a mission or wait next wave, we'll see. Alright, let's see how our current air superiority is doing. Hey there, Bakuil. Thanks for stopping by. Glad you enjoyed. Hopefully we fight this guy and get back before the second attack hits. Lots of massive UFOs to shoot down if we can. Oh boy, lots of heavy interceptors. <laughs> the wrong kind of cargo ship, but we'll let him build the base up. I'm kind of looking forward to doing a base mission again. It's been a long time. Oh yeah, we should talk about upgrading some of our air weapons, too. Because I am getting, well, a little bit frustrated with the air game. Not too bad, but... Ah, that was bad timing. Luckily, these ships... <laughs> Particle Pulse is, like, great. Think they could take out another wave? One of them is halfway dead, but they got lots of ammo. Alright, last time I wasn't really happy with my uh, maneuver. Let's see if I can do it a little bit better here. A little bit closer and then... Well, it still wasn't great. <laughs> The heavy interceptors are going to be a real problem. Until I figure out some better way to handle them. Let's see how the European contrails do, maybe? I wonder if we're over land or water here. Hunter beams! This is not ideal. We could lose this one pretty easy. Heh. <laughs> yeah. Not the same as when we use, uh... Definitely not the same as when we have the cool particle pulse. Not even close. I forgot how to do my cool rolls again. Instead, we're getting shot to pieces. But yeah, half the battle here is just being really good at getting your, uh, your distances correct on your roll. And then it's fine, but, you know. That takes a lot of practice and a lot of... A lot of, like, memorization, almost. It's just really knowing exactly when you need to roll to get your big hit. And that was not a very good hit. You know, that was... We have to do that, like, five or six times if that's all we did. And I know some people are like, Blue, just, uh... Just use one and kite them all around, and... I don't know. That's even harder for me. This is hard enough, but... Oh, we didn't even get any drops out of it. Oh, well. Okay, we're leaving this guy alone. This is a mothership on a terror mission. 
Bomber battleships are kind of a jerks. We're, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely going to want to upgrade some aircraft soon because... Cyclones are about the only thing we've got that can shoot anything down right now for these battleship type ships. I'm assuming the uh, the heavy interceptors will be nice against them. We need something to fight those escorts. Oh, there's a heavy shuttle doing research too. It is, it would be nice to shut that down. All right, bomber battleship. I wonder if we can just auto resolve it nowadays. What do you think? It looks like cyclones have a pretty good matchup against bomber battleships. That's the first time I've tried that. But auto resolve is just so nice for me. So let's try cyclones against a normal battleship. Okay, cool. That really does take the load off. I like doing the air game sometimes, but eventually it just overwhelms me and this is so much faster. Oh, these guys have particle cannons. Oh yeah. So this is our one of our up super cyclones. Yeah, not even, not even close. This is much different. Now, sure, we're taking some damage from the big mothership, but, you know, don't mind that. I think I uh, barrel rolled into one of the big lasers. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. The air game is too hard for me. So unfortunately, as cool as the uh, particle cannon is, it's not cool enough to destroy a mothership on its own. All right, well, we lose uh, we lose one cyclone even on a supposedly easy mission. You just—it's so much micro. I—I'm—I don't know, man. I like the theory of the ex expanded air game, but. The execution of it is just, ugh, I don't know, I, I really struggle. Well, how do we actually shoot it down now? Um, I mean, it's lazy, but this is probably the easiest way to stop it. I meant to send three, I don't know what happened there. Not very effective. Uh, well, Operation Lazy, not so effective. Alright, we might have a terror mission. Uh, should have sent more units quicker, I guess. It's almost at Monaco, which is what I'm thinking. I don't even know if the Archelon can fire its weapons once. I mean, we could try to find an angle. I mean, okay, it's got enough HP that can tank one hit from the big gun. And it can fly just at the angle that doesn't get hit. But it's gonna get killed anyway by those sonic weapons. Like, you guys know the drill. Motherships are just jerks. <laughs> Sonic weapons took us out before we could come back. Alright. I mean, maybe if you had three Archelons, that would be a decent matchup. Maybe. So should I try to do the careful approach? I don't know. If I do the careful approach, I don't hit him with the missile, the warp missiles. Well, we didn't get hit. Yet. 
Okay. So yeah, you know, there's still a way of skimming those big lasers if you're really careful and just really good. But uh, I don't know if I want to do a terror right now. I'm just going to skip everything. Um, no, I just want a nice easy mission for the, uh, for the mech. Probably this little... Probably we're just going to do like a little cargo ship mission today. That's all. Just a nice little baby mission. Just waiting for him to actually land on the base. There you go. And he stays there for a fair while. And then we... This is just a normal supply ship, not an extreme cargo ship. So we don't need anything super special to shoot him down. We don't even take any damage. Nice. Okay. Do you think we can we can probably get there before uh, night hits? And if it's a night mission, so be it. So okay, we're gonna we're gonna probably end the cheating episode here for the future tubers. I'm gonna get my guys equipped. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time. And then next episode, we're gonna go have a kind of fun mission. Hopefully, just a fun old super mech. Test out some of our new weapons. We haven't built them all yet, but you know we've got a a good supply of. Um, Antimatter weapons now. You know, I've got a pretty good feeling about this stuff. I would, you know, there's still some use for other types of weapons. And remember that the antimatter is pretty heavy. So some of the reloads are going to be a bit trickier to balance out. But, like, maybe there's no point in having an axe if you're going to have antimatter mark IV, right? The whole point of some of those other weapons was to bypass the ro ghost robo-dogs. And if this thing just does enough damage on its own, then... Does enough damage on its own, basically. So, um, yeah, we'll see how I feel. I'll gear everybody out, and then next turn we'll do a relatively easy mission. And then probably a giant base after that, soon after. Alright, folks, thanks for watching. Hopefully, hopefully you don't mind a little bit of cheating there. Uh, I think in the long run it's going to save me a lot of time and hassle. And we can just do a couple more UFO missions, and then we can get to the end of the game sooner. Sooner than another 40 hours of grinding, right? That's probably better for everyone. See you next time. Hope you have a great day.